Welcome to the Gateway Live Update. It's Thursday, the 31st of December, New Year's Eve, which is really a big holiday around where we're at. So we welcome you today. We come to the end of 2020, and that's a good thing for most of us. We didn't like 2020. I'm sure it was a problem. I'm sure it was a burden. And I hope that um, even though some good things happened, babies were born, um, people were married, things did happen in 2020. And we are grateful to God. I'm grateful to God for 2020. And um, I remember the beginning last year at um, Last year at this time, I remember I prepared a message that was entitled uh, 2020 Vision. And I just got done yesterday with a message that is entitled uh, Hindsight is 2020 as we come into a prophecy update. I'm doing a couple weeks on Sunday morning here. And so I hope you'll check them out. Uh, beginning with Israel's time, Israel, God's time clock. And uh, we'll be doing a couple of different things. So uh, please stay tuned. Some really neat stuff coming up. Prophecy for 2021. As we look back at 2020 and we look forward to 2021. That's what the New Year's all about. And I hope that you'll be able to do that. I wish you a happy New Year um, from Gateway Christian Church. And everyone here, we send blessings your way. And we expect some really great things this coming year. I hope and I pray and I plead that you will listen to the Lord, that we would not fear what people are doing. We don't get all upset what people are doing because all kinds of stuff people are doing who deceive and lie. We don't, we're going with God, guys. We're going with the Lord, what the Lord wants, what the Lord God does. And listen to him. As bad as things look now, God is good. Now, I just sent out our weekend email. It's right down here, uh, right under me and on the Gateway page, I see. And in that, I, I just did a small devotion, a couple sentences, with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to bow down to the idol. And I hope you have that same spirit, guys. That this, you know, gateway, we're of that spirit of, of not compromise, not bowing to the idol. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're pagan names, by the way, would not and refused to bow down or serve the idol that was erected that the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, had erected. And so what happened? What did they do? They were judged to be thrown into a fiery furnace. And the king made it seven times as hot as it normally would be. And they would be cremated alive. But what did they do? They said, because you know, they weren't upset, and the king noticed that, and they said this. They said, our God can deliver us. He's able. But even if he doesn't. And that's the thing. God's able to deliver us. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ comes back tonight. Not even, I was going to say 2021, but tonight. But even if he doesn't, we're going to serve him. I'm going to serve him. What about you? No matter what happens, if God allows this nation to be destroyed, even if he doesn't, I'm going to serve him. If God allows worse things to come upon our world, he's able to deliver us. But even if he doesn't, that's the spirit we need to have. That's the spirit. We, we need to have the same spirit that Caleb and Joshua had there when all the 10 spies were murmuring and crying. And Joshua, Caleb said, had a different spirit. They had a different spirit. They said, let's go in. The land's great. But the rest of them were crying about grasshoppers. We feel like grasshoppers among giants. Listen, we have the Lord. And I, I'm, 
The passage I read today has nothing to do with either of them. It's this. It's from the Revelation chapter 22 in our daily, those of you who read the one-year Bible as I do every day, we finished it today. And, and from the reading, from chapter 22, it says thus, uh, Revelation 22, 12, Jesus speaking, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to what he has done. Wow. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and enter through the gates into the city. So, the Lord Jesus says he's coming quickly. And, and I do believe every new year I say the same thing. I pray this is the year. And I really do. Really ready to go now. How about you? We're ready to go. And we might go one way or another. And God will deliver us. But even if he don't, what are you going to do if he doesn't? What are you going to do? I pray. Can I call? Can you call back in like 10 minutes? I'm, I'm at work. Is that it? Thank you. Okay. We thank God. We praise the Lord. I do. Every single day. That I know the promise that Jesus is coming back. People might laugh and say, oh, where's the promise of his coming? Listen, he's coming. And one day, soon, we will be with him forever. And everything will be right. Listen, all the injustice that's going on right now. All what we see get people getting away with there. There in uh, that city down on the Potomac River. All that we see people getting away with. God will make it right when the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords reigns on this earth. He will make it right. Believe you me. There's going to be some terrorist times before that. Perilous times are here right now. Filling people's hearts with fear. It's happening now. It's happening today. You see that. But as we look to this new year. And, and it's always good to remember. Am I, are you saying Jesus is going to come tonight or tomorrow or this year? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Jesus said, and behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give back to each one according to what he has done. He is going to. Jesus, our Lord, our Savior. And I take, I'll tell you, I take great blessing in knowing that. What about you? I take a great blessing in knowing that Jesus is coming soon. No matter when I, in the 1980s when I first realized that and heard that, till this day I still get excited that Jesus is coming soon because he is. And even if he didn't come then, and if he didn't come last week, he didn't come 2020. Oh, wow, why? I'll tell you why. Because it's his grace and his patience that means salvation. God isn't willing to end should die, but all come to repentance. And it's his grace and his mercy that keeps him from not coming back last year or when you were 25 or when you thought he was going to come back in 1984. Whatever. I tell you, whatever year it is, whenever it is, Jesus is coming soon and we need to live in light of that jesus is coming soon the early church they lived in the light of that that preservation that the lord comes behold he cometh in the clouds and every eye will see him even them that pierced him he's coming they knew that their their slogan of maranatha the aramaic term maranatha commonly in the english pronounced maranatha meant Lord come. They lived with expectancy of his return. We need to get back to living in expectancy of 
his return. Because if we believe that, we're going to live different than if we don't. And it's true. If you live like Jesus is going to come back tomorrow, today, you are going to live different. You're going to live different. It's going to be totally different. Listen, it's going to be a lot different. But on the other hand, if you live like he's not going to come back, you're going to be like the servants Jesus taught about who beat the other servants and bossed everyone around. You don't want to be that person. Listen, you don't. And I know you don't. I know no one listen wants to. We want to be those who say, behold, he cometh quickly. He's coming back fast. His return is near. And that's how we're going out of 2020, is we have 2020 vision now of this year. We see all the horrors and all the disease and all the virus and things we don't want to say in terms like unprecedented that I don't want to hear anymore. We have lived through it. We made it through. And God's with us. And he's, his hand's on you. And he's going to bring you out of it. And he's going to bring you into a new year. And he's going to take care of you. And he's going to deliver you. But listen, even if you don't, you're going to be with him. It's a winner either way. We win because we live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So we win. We're going to have our last prayer on the gateway update for this year, since it's the last day of the year and our last webcast of the year. And I want you to join me now as we pray again against this coronavirus that's going around, against this new strain or whatever, whatever's going to happen. It's not as bad as we're told in the media who they try to put us in fear. Listen, we don't live in fear. We live by faith. If you're not living by faith, there's something wrong. Live by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ who loved you and gave himself for you. Let's pray. Let's go to him. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you that we're able to come to you, Lord. We thank you that we're able to live for you in these last evil days, Lord. And we've made it through 2020, Lord. We thank you for all that you did through 2020. And we ask you to bless us, Lord, as we continue going out of this year, uh, taking ourselves away from this year, Lord, and being who you want us to be and living how you want us to be, Lord, that you would bless us, that you would help us, that you would deliver us, that you would take us out of this place and bring us to your presence, Lord. We want to be with you. We long to be with you, Lord. And even if everyone thinks we're crazy, we desire to be with you. Bless, Father, this planet, Lord. Please rid us of the plague of this COVID-19, Lord. We come against it. We ask you to heal it, us from it, Lord, that it would be of no effect on people, Lord. Even this new strain that people are fearing, Lord, and uh, the powers that be are putting more and more fear in people, Lord. We ask you to deliver us from it. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that's been done, Lord, that you've done. Lord, we thank you and praise you and worship you and bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for loving us. We thank you for forgiving us through the blood of your son, Lord. I pray for anyone that might be listening that doesn't know you would surrender to you this very day as they come into new years, a new person. Please, Lord, be with us. Touch each one listening, all of our loved ones, our family, and draw us closer in 2021 than we've ever been. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. We worship and bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, guys, don't forget, we're going to be live here Sunday morning at 1030. Today is Thursday. New Year's Day tomorrow is Friday, Saturday the next day, and then Sunday. I know some people got confused last week with the same thing with Christmas. But we're going to be here Sunday morning, our first Lord's Day of 2021. And we're going to begin with a prophecy update, probably a couple weeks, just so you know. And then we'll get back to the book of Acts, 
which we're excited to do that too. But um, be here Sunday. Uh, if you can be here live, we'll be here right here at Gateway Christian Church of Woodbury, 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, if you can't, we'll be here uh, on webcast as we always are every service now, live um, with our message, um, Prophecy Update 2021, Part 1. And we're going to look first at Israel, God's timepiece, and the timing of the rapture, if you dare to check that out. We'll be here. And until we greet you on the next time, which will be Monday for this, we will have a rerun tomorrow and Saturday. But if you are here Monday morning, we'll be back with the Gateway Live Update. Um, we look forward to that, our new uh, year, 2021, and to see what God's going to do and see this pandemic, this plague that he's put upon us, gone, and then we can rejoice and serve him even more. Until then, may God's richest and blessed be yours for 2021. Happy New Year.